Philly has some great woods. And I love them in the winter and in the dark, as well as other times. So come on in. You can sit wherever you're comfortable. Girl power, love this shit. <laughs> okay, this is Owl Moon. It was late one winter night, long past my bedtime, when Pa and I went owling. There was no wind. The trees stood still as giant statues, and the moon was so bright the sky seemed to shine. Somewhere behind us, a train whistle blew, long and low, like a sad, sad song. Our feet crunched over the crisp snow, and little gray footprints followed us. Pa made a long shadow, but mine was short and round. I had to run after him every now and then to keep up, and my short, round shadow bumped after me. But I never called out. If you go owling, you have to be quiet. That's what Pa always says. I've been waiting to go owl owling with Pa for a long, long time. We reached the line of pine trees, black and pointy against the sky, and Pa held up his hand. I stopped right where I was and waited. He looked up as if searching the stars, as if reading a map up there. The moon made his face into a silver mask. Then he called, hoo hoo hoo, hoo hoo hoo. The sound of the great horned owl, hoo hoo hoo, hoo 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 hoo. Again he called, but then each call he was silent. And for a moment, we both listened. But there was no answer. I shrugged and I shrugged. I was not disappointed. My brothers all said, sometimes there's an owl, sometimes there isn't. We went into the woods. The shadows were the blackest things I had ever seen. They stained the white snow. My mouth felt furry, for the scarf over it was wet and warm. I didn't ask what kind of things hide behind black trees in the middle of the night. When you go owling, you have to be brave. Then we came to a clearing in the dark woods. The moon was high above us. It seemed to fit exactly over the center of the clearing and the snow below it was whiter than the milk in a cereal bowl. I sighed, and Pa held up his hand at the sound. I put my mittens over the scarf over my mouth and listened, and Pa called, hoo, 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 hoo. I listened and looked so hard my ears hurt and my eyes got cloudy with the cold. Pa raised his face to call out again, but before he could open his mouth, an echo came threading its way through the trees. <laughs> pa almost smiled, then he called back. Just as if he and the owl were talking about supper or about the woods or the moon or the cold. I took my mitten off the scarf, off my mouth, and I almost smiled too. Pa turned on his big flashlight and caught the owl just as it was landing on a branch. For one minute, three minutes, maybe even a hundred minutes, we stared at one another. 
Then the owl pumped its great wings and lifted off the branch like a shadow without a sound. It flew back into the forest. Time to go home, Pa said to me. I knew then I could talk. I could even laugh out loud. But I was a shadow as we walked home. When you go owling, you don't need words or warm or anything but hope. That's what Pa says. The kind of hope that flies on silent wings under a shining owl moon. Good morning. Good morning. This story is a reminder that the solstice, which is the shortest day of the year, is not just an event. It's a movement, right? It's a process. We've entered into it. And every day we know this when our alarm clock comes, turns on and it's a little darker than it was the day before, even despite the, ch the time of the clocks changing. So with this thought that the solstice, the darkening of the year is a movement, I wanted to share a little piece with us to remind us because nature wants us to slow down this time of year as it gets darker. It's a time to withdraw, to go inward, to be cozy, right? To be warm, to sleep. It's a time to sleep. And of course, our culture wants us to do the opposite right now. So we have to make the space for ourselves. So with that, I invite the children and anyone else who would like to, to stand, and we're going to do a short movement. Would you like to stand? This is how the movement goes. May the solstice slow us down, give us rest, and help us grow. Ready? We'll do it together. May the solstice give, slow us down, give us rest, and help us grow. May the solstice slow us down, give us rest, and help us grow. This time I'm going to do it without words. Join me. One more. Thank you. We'll now sing the children out.